Dear Economics, I fell in love with you. I remember the day. I rushed out of my intermediate microeconomics course. I called my mom. I told her I found someone. I found someone who opened my eyes to the world. You, Economics, encouraged me to view the world through another lens. It is a shame you are associated with and corrupted by political arrangements vested powers and special interests, because to immerse yourself in a theory and understand the analysis and reason for the analysis, apart from any socio-political ideologies, then you see beauty incarnate. Where I was once intimidated by your importance to worldly affairs, I soon became enamored with the depth and precision of your analytical framework. You, economics, were able to teach me that there is sophistication and simplicity. By outsiders and laymen, your abstraction is often taken to be a weakness, but by those who understand you, your greatest strength is the abstract mathematical models in which you work. Your simplified assumptions cut through complexity that stifles other social sciences. And that is all it is. Since Alfred Marshall, we have known you to be entirely complex and deep, yet terrifyingly simple. The principles of the long run, normal, the aggregate, and ceteris paribus are often points of contention, yet I admire you in spite of your imperfections. I recognize and applaud your constant iteration. To me, your beauty is unassailable. Economics, your elegance is often misunderstood. From your physiocrat roots, you are about cause and effect. You taught me that the market price adjusts to ethical, environmental, and social beliefs. There is an external shock, and through the shifts of those interests in the aggregate, the price will equilibrate to supply and demand. And so, you taught me to be optimistic in the face of great obstacles. You taught me to be optimistic that if we could decentralize power, disempower rhetoric, and allow the free flow of information, the market would solve our most pressing issues with greater efficiency than any politician could ever dream. You taught me to believe in society, to solve our problems, and advance humanity through games of technology, productivity, and efficiency. And yet, as society and politics have become more and more economic, I, secretly, behind your back, have sought to better understand your effects on society. Because you claim to be a science, yet you are still part moral philosophy. You deal with abstraction, yet you deal with humans and the unscientific ethical implications of You claim to arbitrage rhetoric, yet you use your rhetoric to enhance your influence. And you claim the pursuit of certainty, yet faith is still an important component of your social status. This understanding has led me to interrogate your interactions with politics, with society, and with the environment. Your principles have influenced our society and people in ways unimaginable. It is impossible not to care about how you interact in the world. Like John Maynard Keynes said, Anyone who wants to be an economist should be an able mathematician, philosopher, policymaker, politician, and scientist. And I agree. You, economics, are but one of many analytical frameworks, one of many ways to view the world. And so, I want to better understand your social implications before I fully commit to you. Because I love you, economics. You taught me so much. You made me into the person I am today, and I'll never be the same as when I came. You and your students have such a bright future ahead, both academically, politically, full of greater understanding, precision, and influence. So go forth, expand and refine, be the intellectual and moral leaders of our time. But while you continue your science, understand you have profound influence on society. And although our paths may diverge now that I have finished at UC Berkeley, economics, you will always be close to my heart. With faith, Nicholas Lalo.